Gareth, hey, thanks for joining me on the show. It's very cool to finally have you on here. No problem. How's it going? Great. So let's start off with the absolute basics. And I know you quite well. We met in Chiang Mai recently. But for anyone that doesn't know who you are, can you give like an introduction as to who you are and what it is that you do? Sure. Um, I'm Gareth Ball, as you can see. Um, I founded my SEO agency about four years ago. Not really intentionally. Um, I ranked a site accidentally through building a few links on Fiverr um, <laughs> for a lead generation site um, for a company that I was working for. And then, yeah, it started to get leads and I was like, how does this work? And then I stumbled across a few blogs. Um, I then made a website, an affiliate site that was making more money than my job at the time. And I was like, I better leave that job. Um, <laughs> And then, um, yeah, as I said, I kept getting a few clients for like social media and stuff. And I was like, the ROI on social media clients, um, as probably 90% of you guys know, um, isn't really there and it's hard to manage and clients can see exactly everything you're doing and they're asking questions all the time. And yeah, so I then decided to just completely cut that off. It took about four months out solid just to find blogs, um, found your blog, found everyone's blog that, and then the community, the Lions Hill and everything from there. And then I started to really understand SEO and I thought the SEO industry in terms of agency wise is full a lot full of a lot of people that can't even rank a site. So if I had a <laughs> very true it is it's very true, as you know. And um so I thought if I can rank a site and get a few clients um to build some cash flow for affiliate and everything else that I wanted to do, um I thought that was a way forward. So I sort of started to get a few clients and then had an office. I then had a first employee, and then from that first employee, like everything started to kick off. I started to delegate a lot of the work that I was doing. Um, I wasn't doing any of the boring bookkeeping and <laughs> invoicing, everything that comes with it, um, which people think that they can do themselves. Um, and if you want to scale a real life business, you can't be doing that stuff every day, So, um, if at all. So I then had a couple more employees um, in the UK we have like an apprenticeship scheme which you can't which really helps out the first employee was a real employee and then the second one was an apprentice so that gives them a chance to learn inside the job and um, he goes to college like or they go to college once a week and then after that then I employed him and then I got another apprentice and then another employee and now there's I think there's 11 of us now so nice. we're in yeah and then um, the end of last year we into like a 1200 square foot office now so yeah there's a lot of space it's very expensive but um it's all worth it so yeah that's sort of where i'm at now in terms of how we've grown and yeah like we're a young team a lot of um the mem a lot of the team are taught by myself and then further down the line they've taught and so i've sort of stepped away from the business in terms of teaching people and then i've got a couple of people from other agencies which have really helped um so yeah there was just a need for seo agencies or an SEO agency that actually could deliver results, which is quite. It funny still about. is. <laughs> yeah, of course, and like the SEO, like there's always work out there for anyone that can rank a site, and um, if you present yourself in a good way and um, can sell, like there's nothing that, there's nothing special about me as an SEO. I can I can rank a site, you know, but I've got now a team that can rank a site, but I'm very good at sales, and and now, um, the head of sales here is is obviously good and then he's he's teaching another guy and then it sort of like <laughs> compounds into a big yeah. uh, machine where it means that I can just live the life that I've always wanted if that makes sense like I've just got back from America for a month um, with a few other SEO guys and that was just like the business runs itself so I'm not working in the business I'm working on top of it which is a cliche saying but it's very <laughs> important if, it, if anyone else wants to actually build a real life business so yeah sure. I, I wanted to come I wanted to cut like I wanted to explain that on this show specifically that there's a lot of people that um, have businesses that are working too hard inside their business and they're not actually they're not taking that first step to get the first employee and yes it's there is problems that come with it and everything um, but yeah I've started to do a little bit of um, blogging and YouTube videos and stuff just to try and explain to people that building a real-life business is hard but also the rewards are, are very good as well so yeah 